Tyler here at the uh, Hooters Toronto Airport location watching a great Super Bowl. But earlier today, I got to see an amazing uh, wrestling event. No, new school wrestling game day. And it was an amazing event, people. Matt Grant versus Stratosphere canceled. The first match, they kicked it off out of the park with a Southside World Championship match where you had the champion, All Eagle, Ethan Page, taking on Alessandro Del Bruno. Those two did a great job. They just carried on from where they left off the day before. But in the end, Ethan Page hit the tan Sheamus on the Del Bruno. One, two, three, and still, your Southside World Champion, All Ego, Ethan Page. The next event match was a two out of three falls match featuring Solo taking on San Andrea. Solo being the weasel that he is. Um, was constantly trying to bring a chair in and eventually used that chair against San Andrea. That gave San Andrea the first fall, but Solo taking advantage of the situation pinned them and got the second fall. That's been it. Finally got entertaining with that match. But Solo being Solo and channeling his inner Eddie Guerrero when the ref was knocked down for the second time that match. Instead of hitting San Andrea with the chair, he tossed it to him and then flopped. Which ended up being a disqualification for San Andrea. So your winner, two falls to one, Solo. I finally see Solo win a match. whoop de doo Well, then after that match, we had an improv, like a match that was not announced. The Inner City Championship match. We had their challenger, Sabrina Kelly, taking on some magician dude, the amazing Becknor, or whatever the hell his name is. But he was there representing St. Stephen as co-champions. Great back and forth. Um, the, the amazing whatever the hell his name is. Um, did these magic, some tricky magic tricks. But in the end, he, became, he ended up being all flash no substance, and your winner, and new Intercity Champion, uh, Sabrina Kelly. Then we went to the NSW Tag Team Championships. We had the champions, the Riot Makers, taking on the team of the hacker, Scotty O'Shea, and the bone crusher, Steve Brown. That was a very hard-hitting match. My personal highlight of the match is when Steve Brown was on the apron and Mark Wheeler was there. He was like, oh, hi, Mark, and just punched him in the face. But after a very hard fought battle between the two teams, your new NSW Tag Team Champions, the hacker Scotty O'Shea, and the Bone Crusher Steve Brown. After the match, we had a little celebration for Steve Brown, whose birthday was yesterday. So we had a little celebration for him. We all sang happy birthday to him. But after that, after those two left the ring, where they left Albright and Wheeler in the ring. Albright turned on Wheeler and kicked him and whooped his ass. 
so the right makers. No more? But most likely. Then right after that, we went to another title match, people. Yes. Another title match. Where we had the NSW Cruiserweight Champion, TKD, defending his title against Rip Impact. Rip Impact was really doing very well. TKD, not so much. But in typical TKD fashion, being no snake, weasel, whatever you want to call him, he is. Um, rolled up Impact with a handful of tights and got the one, two, three, and retains his new school wrestling cruiserweight championship. But shortly after that match, we had the bar room boy. Where the contenders going in, it was a 10 minute match. And the last person to get a pinfall would get a contract for any no school wrestling title at any time, any place, for anyone. So, champions, keep your eyes out. So, they introduced the contenders. We had Corey Storm. We had Tantrum. We had Doc Richards. We had the grinder, Mark Shaw. You had um, Double D, Dylan Daniels, with Brian Morrow at ringside. You had Tor. Tor no, Jody, I have to say, Jody Fred, and the lovely Felicity. Plus, Jake, heavyweight, Jones. Oh, I'm missing a few. There was Charlie Black Wolf. Well, there was a good club wolf trying to keep. JT Kirk was in there as well. And they were all over the ring and so forth. Pounding the crap out of each other. Um, it was interesting to see that Doc Richards and Mark Shaw were teaming up a lot. So, do we see a potential tag team coming up with those two? Maybe. So, uh, Jay Heavyweight Jones got the first pinfall. And so, he was the holder of the contract for the majority of the match. No, that's it. Within the five minute mark, Felicity was getting into it. Sorry, to take, the, kick a, take names and kick ass. And she got the second pinfall. So she now has the contract. Which kind of scared TKD. Because he knows if when Felicity gets that toe shot, he's going to get his ass handed to him. Because you're going to hear it now. Felicity will be an NSW Cruiserweight Champion soon. So, she, it was getting down. It was like, within one minute, it looked like Felicity will finally get her hands on the belt that probably belongs to her. But TKD being scared, he convinced Dylan Daniels to go in there. But Dylan Daniels being the complete douchebag that he is, the only way he could beat Felicity was with a steel chair. So he smacked her with his steel chair. And of course, time ran out. So, the holder of your con NSW title contract for anyone, anywhere, anytime is Double D, Dylan Daniels. Then we went to another match. 
an intergender match featuring two noobs. That's what can I say? Where you get Cassie Cool taking on Joe Johnny Idol. Johnny Idol looked like he belonged in high school, not even. He looked way too young to be in a professional ring. And no offense to the guys, they put on a great show, but you knew it was two amateurs in the ring. But in the end, Casey Cool beat Johnny Idol. Hey Johnny, stay in school, dude. The ring is not for you. So now we go to your main event of the evening. BMD taking on the NSW Heavyweight Champion, the walking weapon, Josh Alexander. And what a match. Those two guys put on a show. But we were thinking it was only going to be a step-up match, but it ended up being for the NSW Championship itself. Which was great to see. And Brett Michael David gave it his all. And it was just vicious, those two. Like the chops, the kicks, the punches. Those two left it all on the line. But in the end, still your NSW heavyweight champion, the walking weapon, Josh Alexander. So that was NSW's game day. An amazing show. I would highly suggest you guys watch it on Powerbomb.tv. So, I gotta go. I wanna watch the rest of the Super Bowl. Peace out all. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. Like the rest of the guys on Facebook. And don't forget to follow uh, my familia, Cindy and Brian, on their YouTube channels. Peace out all. Game time.